let's never have Dross Brickley. Shout out to forward ever on penalties. Jorginho is a penalty taker. What if Jorginho actually took that penalty against Valencia? Chelsea go 1 0 up. Who knows? Maybe we have a totally different game. But 2 0 should have been more. Should have been more. Lampard has to be brutal with these guys and it's going to be serious with these guys congratulate them on the win but my goodness brighton i don't think brighton had a shot i mean they had like one or two shots on, on target for chelsea there were far too many opportunities not even opportunities good quality clear goal scoring opportunities to to win by, by by more to win by more and i just think that william did really score it was actually a deflection i've got issues with william and then whenever pedren plays the Pedro William combination, they're always these issues. So a win is a win, three points, but this has to be sorted out. The delivery of chances and scoring of chances has to be sorted out. You know, they have to find a way of just putting that ball in that net. But I think, you know, overall, I, mean, overall, I thought Tomori is looking really good in, in defense. And I think I always said it's when everyone is fit, it's Zuma and Rudiger. As of right now, because I think Rudiger should be the captain of the team. I think as Blikweta get him the hell out of that team, Rhys James should be in that team. Let's not see what Rhys James brings as a right back, spe specifically offensively, because as Blikweta is an offensive brick. But the way that Tomori is playing, this guy is chilled out. I mean, he had like one slight miss, miss mistake where he miss, misjudged the ball over the top. But overall, the guy's... It doesn't feel as if he's a young defender. Because whenever you see young defenders, you see them get out of position, rush in, into tackles. The weird thing is this. Zuma overall is better. But I think Tomori plays as a much more mature, assured defender than both Zuma and um, Christensen. Even sometimes, really, like, I never see Tomori being going rush into into challenges the only thing that he sometimes misjudges passes sometimes he's out of position but he just seems very very calm in defense william you can't keep doing the same move you are not Aryan robin only Aryan robin can do the same move and do it you're not Aryan robin i think william tried to do that shift to my right and um, shoot. I think he tried to do that move about three or four times in the first half. And the bad thing is that because he somehow got the goal in the second half, he'll be like, oh, let me just keep on doing it. No, 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 no. Just don't keep on doing it. No. Barkley's crap. He's 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 crap. He messes up with the midfield. I know he's English. I get his lamp, but he wants to, to support English. I get it. It's, it's cool. Hudson Odoi, Tomori, um, even if he's Nigerian, um, Mason Mount, boom. These guys, that's your English quotes are good. Kovacic, is that midfield with Kante not on fits? Kovacic should, should have started because Kovacic with George Jorginho they understand the meaning of move the ball quickly, one touch football, keep the ball moving, keep the rhythm. Don't have four, five, six um, chances on the don't have five or six touches on the ball. When you're in midfield, anybody who's playing midfield will know move the ball quickly. Move the ball quickly. One touch. As before the ball comes to you, you must know where, where the ball must, must must be going. So Barkley, he just seems lethargic, sideways, diagonals, doesn't is not really within the same flow of that midfield. But look man, overall, Tammy should have had a lot more goals and I think Tammy will feel very frustrated because he could have actually added to his seven goal tally or, or already look get more goals than than, than the, the Rashford. But I just think look the only thing that needs to be said is that you have you, you have to just finish Chelsea just you have to finish these chances because again there are so many points that Chelsea could have had this season if they had just put away their chances even even against United and, and so forth and it would be the worst thing if Chelsea somehow finished out of the top four and it's been like they really played badly Chelsea didn't finish your flipping chances that's, that's just a crazy thing